Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of Lincoln Park Blood rapper, Don Diego. Don would come up on the southeast side of San Diego and grow up in an area called Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park would be known for being one of the most dangerous areas in Dago, known for high crime and its high gang presence. The Lincoln Park Bloods would be a high profile gang that would be behind a lot of violence in Dago and Don would see a lot growing up. Don was heavy involved in the streets growing up, game banging, selling drugs, and doing everything that came with the streets. And he was a full-fledged banger in the 90s, making his name in the streets, but he also was playing with rap. San Diego had some rappers from his era come out and make some noise like Mitchie Slick, who was also from Lincoln Park, and rappers like Big June, J.O. Felony, and a few others. Don would go on to drop several songs and albums and be affiliated with Mitchie Slick, and they would do several songs together but Don being heavy in the streets will always hinder his rap career. By 2005, Don was a well-respected and documented member of the Lincoln Parks by the police and was on their radar. By 2005, ZZ was a young member of the Lincoln Park Bloods. He was known for having a lot of money and flaunting it, and this got the attention of his older homies who wanted in on ZZ's money, which he refused to be extorted. ZZ's sister Hannah owned a house in the Lincoln Park Bloods turf. Police will often see ZZ go in and out the house, and several people will live inside Hannah's house, like ZZ and Hannah's brother, Miko, Miko's girlfriend, and two other roommates being Preston, and a woman named Stacy. November 25th, 2005. Hannah and Preston woke up early and went to work. Sometimes afterwards, Stacy awoke to the sound of strange men in the house, and when she opened her bedroom door, a man appeared wearing a ski mask and holding a gun. The man then tied Stacy's hands up and her feet and also blindfolded her. They asked her where the money was. Before Stacy was blindfolded, she observed Sasha, Miko's girlfriend, tied up, and at least two men were in the house. The gunmen were speaking on walkie-talkies to another man who was outside. They were discussing the money and using Hannah's name. Preston later arrived home and seen Sasha tied up and Stacy as well. He then had guns pulled on him by the gunman and was tied up as well. They were looking for 500000 which they believed to be in the house. The man asked Preston and Stacy where the money was, but they really didn't know. The gunmen were acting like crips, but slipped up and said things only Lincoln Park Bloods would say. Miko later arrived at the house next, and after he arrived, he fought with the gunman. They beat Miko savagely and demanded to know where the money was. Miko said he didn't know, but after this, they beat him more. Miko was then thrown into a bathtub. When Hannah came home, one of the men met her as soon as she entered the doorway. The man was holding a gun and wearing a mask. She would later identify one of the men as Don Diego. The gunman would tie Hannah up and let her know they knew her brother Zizi had money hidden in the house. Zizi was in prison at this time point. The man threatened to kill Hannah and all the others if she didn't tell them where the money was. They poured gasoline on Miko and threatened to set him on fire. Hannah actually didn't know where the money was and she tried to distract him. After not finding the money, the gunmen were furious. They forced Sasha to go in the tub with Miko, where they would execute them both, taking their lives. The gunmen then fled. Stacy Preston and Hannah ran from the house and called for help. Police found Hannah's house ransacked and found Sasha and Miko dead. But they will also find a lot of evidence at the crime scene, where police will find a cigarette that would match Don Diego's fingerprints. Crime Stopper's website will post a pic of Don Diego, and he was identified twice on television show America Most Wanted. A Lincoln Park gang member told the police about a conversation he had with another member named Terrell. In that conversation, Terrell admitted to taking part in the shootings and said that Don Diego and two other men was involved. The police wanted Don bad, and he would go on a run for a while. 20 months later, Timothy and his girlfriend were celebrating their anniversary and walking to their car. They would be approached by a gunman who demanded their money and took everything he wanted. He then fired shots at the couple, killing Timothy and wounding his girlfriend. Don Diego was the prime suspect. Don was on the run and police was on his trail. He was followed by police one night, but he escaped. He tossed his gun, but police recovered it and it was determined that the gun he had was used to kill Timothy and shoot his girlfriend. Don was later arrested in Vegas after a high speed chase. Police would even try to use Don's rap lyrics against him and say he was rapping about the home invasion murders. Don would be snitched on by some of his homies and his victims told their accounts. This all got Don convicted of three murders, one attempted murder, and a long list of other charges. This all got Don nine life sentences, plus 447 years to life. 
Don has been in prison for well over 15 years, but has dropped several albums and some behind bars. He's still hopeful that he will get out one day and be released. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.